This is Charlie. Sometimes Charlie is going about his business when something scary happens. He starts to feel breathless and just can't get enough air. Lots of people like Charlie experience breathlessness for all sorts of reasons. Charlie uses an inhaler to help improve his breathing. Charlie's doctor says the inhalers should be enough and he shouldn't feel breathless quite as much as he does. But when Charlie reaches some stairs, he feels out of breath even before he starts climbing them. So why does Charlie feel breathless? If it isn't just about his body and lungs, does it have something to do with his brain? Scientists are interested in trying to understand what goes on inside our brains to make us feel breathless. The brain doesn't just listen to what the lungs tell it. It also uses our past experiences and our emotions. But sometimes the balance between new information and relying on old information gets upset. Scientists came up with an idea called the Bayesian brain. The Bayesian brain uses something called a mathematical model to describe how the brain works. Researchers think it can help us understand how the brain and lungs work together and how each person's brain is influenced by their past experiences, their mood and all sorts of other factors. Since everyone has lived a different life, everyone's brain is different. The scientists can scan Charlie's brain to see which brain pathways are active when he gets breathless. They hope that once they understand what's going on in his brain, they can pinpoint the best way to help treat his breathlessness. That way, they will know which treatments will be most effective and have ideas for new treatments that are yet to be designed. By doing specific exercises, Charlie was able to retrain his brain which meant that finally, breathlessness isn't such a big issue for him anymore. All thanks to the Bayesian brain.